What's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog channel. Today is an exciting day because it is December 1st, which means it is the start of Vlogmas. If you're not familiar with Vlogmas, it is something that I've done before on this channel, but basically it just means doing a daily vlog every day in December leading up to Christmas day. I did it last year and then I, I quit a little bit early because I was going through some stuff, which I actually never ended up talking about, but I'll talk about it soon, maybe during Vlogmas. And I've been very excitedly looking forward to Vlogmas this year because I would like to redeem myself. But before we get into all the Vlogmas excitement, I will say I'm probably not going to be posting every single day. I think there's going to be some days where I'm just going to combine two days and then I'll have like a, a missing day and then it'll be like day 15 and 16. You know what I mean? Not every day is terribly exciting. <laughs> there is also a chance that I might stop the vlogs early or they might take an interesting turn, but we'll talk about that later. I actually meant to do a vlog before Vlogmas to tell you all the advent calendars that I bought because if you watched last year's Vlogmas you know I love an advent calendar and I did buy a bunch. Not as many as last year though but I still have some pretty good ones. But yeah I just didn't end up vlogging that so I'm just gonna go over all the advent calendars that I have now and then the plan for the rest of the day. Well I do have to finish editing a video and then post that for today and then I want to do all of our Christmas decorating. I did buy some new stuff. I had to buy it in advance because because I don't know why I feel like everybody makes you buy all of your holiday stuff super early now. So I did go to a couple of decor stores to buy some stuff just because now we're in a new place. We have more spaces to decorate. So I got some stuff, which I'll show you. And then actually our friend is coming to visit this weekend. So he is going to be here at some point today. I don't know if he's going to want to be on the blog, but if he does, I'll show you him. <laughs> but yeah, let me get into the advent calendars. So like I said, I do have less advent calendars this year than last year, but I had a really hard time finding good ones. I don't know why, for some reason, everything was either just super expensive or just not available, but I do have five. So I'll show you all of those. This first one was actually from World Market. I asked you guys on my Instagram story if anybody knew where I could buy good advent calendars and a bunch of you suggested this place, which I had actually never been to before. It was a pretty fun place to go. But this advent calendar is the Monty Bojangles Curiously Moorish Cocoa Dusted truffles. So me and Ryan are going to share this one. It's a 24 day and I guess there's just a truffle in each one and I think there's six flavors. So we're going to have some repeats but I'm fine with that. It was actually pretty inexpensive. So I just wanted a good chocolate one. I do want, there's like a couple of good ones that are 12 day advent calendars at Trader Joe's but I have not been there so hopefully during Vlogmas at some point we will make a trip to Trader Joe's and I can get a 12 day advent. Everything I have, oh no that's a lie because I'm, I'm looking at a 12 day one. I was going to say everything I have is 24 day but it's not true. The next one I have is this uh, sock advent calendar. If you remember last year, I was so happy with my Gudetama sock advent calendar. And every year I like to get myself a sock one just because that's when I get my new socks. So I found this one on Amazon. It's like 90s Nickelodeon cartoons. So it's a 12 day advent calendar. I'm really excited about this because I'm a 90s baby and I, I think that's fun. Ryan and I are actually going through and re-watching Hey Arnold right now. So hopefully we'll get some Hey Arnold socks. I don't know. I ordered this massive one for Ryan. Ryan loves a coffee advent calendar. So I like to pick it out for him. And I got this one also on Amazon called Door County Coffee. I've never heard of this brand before, but I thought the flavors sounded really good. I won't spoil it, but they're all like fun flavors. And then we have this interesting one. <laughs> So this is another suggestion from you guys. I was really struggling to find a good decaf advent calendar. So I like to drink coffee as well, but I don't really drink caffeine if I can help it, unless it's matcha. I could not find a good decaf advent calendar. So a lot of you guys suggested that I just have Ryan make me one. So that is exactly what we did. I have this, it's literally an Amazon box that we wrapped in wrapping paper. And then inside we've got these little advent advent calendar boxes that you can just buy empty ones on Amazon. And then I bought a big variety pack of decaf little coffee pods and I had Ryan go in and fill them all up for me. So this is my little homemade decaf coffee advent calendar. So it should be fun. Ryan did warn me there are a couple of repeat flavors. He said he pulled out the flavors that he knows I don't like because I, I really don't like minty flavors. I'm not a huge fan of hazelnut, but I don't mind it with other flavors. So he was trying to be mindful of that. <laughs> so we'll have a couple of repeats, but it's fine. And then the last advent calendar. I'm so excited about this one. This is probably the one I'm the most excited for. This is the 
the Cadillacer 24 day nail polish advent calendar. So I actually did this last year, Cadillacer sent it to me and I did not end up finishing Vlogmas and I felt so terrible about it because I really wanted to share all of the nail polishes and I felt super guilty. And they actually surprised me this year by sending me the 2023 advent calendar. So I'm really excited about that. And I promise I will show you all of the beautiful polishes this time around. I actually don't even have painted nails because I was thinking hopefully day one will be something that I can wear today. I can't imagine that it won't be, <laughs> but yeah, it is morning still. I don't know what time it is. My watch is charging 9.30 a.m. So I actually, I've been up for several hours because I was kind of just tidying up the house for when our friend arrives. And then I was editing a little bit, but I took a break because I wanted to open up my coffee advent calendar. So we may as well just get started and then I can have my coffee, finish editing, and then we can start decorating. So let's just get into it. Day one having fun. <laughs> and I guess we should open the Cadillac or one too. And I think the sock one, I'm going to wait until we're like 12 days out. So let's see, we've got day number one. Here's what the little box looks like. It's super cute. And inside, oh, and the cool thing about this is that these little boxes are reusable. So next year I can make Ryan an advent calendar or he can make me another one. Fun things. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh. He's so good to me. So this one, it's a brand called Crazy Cups. It's like a variety pack for brands too, but I think most of them are this brand called Crazy Cups and the flavor is coconut caramelicious, which actually, if you don't know this about me, coconut caramel is my favorite coffee flavor. I love a caramel, but especially when there's a little bit of coconut in it, that just makes my day. So I'm going to make this now. Some of these, by the way, are a little bit uh, dusty with coffee dust because one of the pods broke open in the mail. <laughs> so some of them are a little bit dusty, but you can't smell what this flavor is, but I'm going to make it right now. And I'm also going to break down this box so I can save it. But let's also open up the day one for the Cadillac or advent calendar as well, because at some point I would like to paint my nails today. I did not bring anything to cut this open. I almost don't want to ruin the pretty little bow, <laughs> but I guess I will. Oh, and also, by the way, <laughs> we didn't talk about my outfit, but this is the Hello Kitty Fair Isle print sweater that I got. I wore this day one of Vlogmas last year, but I got it from Forever 21. It was limited edition and it also came with little matching shorts. So just a cute little, little vlogmasy vibe, I think. Let's see what's in day one. All righty, day one. It's focusing on Hello Kitty, not the day one. <laughs> day one, we've got little snowflakes because it's cute. Ooh, okay, oops. It's this like iridescent greenish blue kind of color, but then the shimmer in it is like a purpley fuchsia pink. And I think this also, it looks like it has flash reactive glitters in it because around the edges, I can almost see that like unreal glow. Let me just check. It does appear to have some green flash reactive pigment. And then we do have that gorgeous iridescent shimmer that kind of shifts around depending on how you're looking at it. So is this gonna focus please? There you go. Ooh, gorgeous. I wonder if I should wear it on its own or over black to make it really intense, but I'll probably just try it on its own. Super gorgeous. Also, by the way, these ones have names. This one says, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. So that's day number one. Ooh, I love that they're named. Okay, so let me make my coconut caramel coffee pod and then I will edit a little bit and we'll just see where the day takes us. But we know that it's going to be decorating. <laughs> By the way, I've talked about it before, but certainly not enough. <laughs> this Cuisinart coffee maker that we have is so incredible because it's like half carafe, half K-cup, and it works with any brand of little pods. So I just like to use this side and Ryan likes to use this side. So yeah, let me make my coffee. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, I was in the mood to have it iced, so I made it iced. Also, I don't have any festive mugs, so I'm just using this skull mug, and I did add a little bit of sweetener to the bottom, but let's try it. Very delicious. <laughs> Ryan just opened his. The first flavor is Jingle Bell Java. So it's toasted pecans, caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon. That sounds fun. And it is actually a pretty hefty bag. Like this is, this is full like up to here and it's kind of thick. So very impressive. We'll see how much we can get out of this. But anyway, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to my coffee just to make it a little bit creamier, but it tastes delicious. Okay, 
Time for ratings real quick. So mine, five out of five, no notes, delicious, my favorite flavor of coffee. I forgot how much I love coconut in my caramel coffee, so this is delicious. Ryan says that his tastes like a waffle. I'm gonna try a little, where's your spoon? I'm gonna try a little sip, but his is hot coffee. I don't know how I feel about it. I taste the pecan. That's, I feel like that's the most flavor I'm getting. I don't know if I like it though. If you recall from previous years, Ryan likes to be very specific with his ratings. So he rated it a 4.2 out of five stars. I'm going to drink my delicious coffee. Ryan will be drinking his delicious coffee. I'm going to edit and then we will return back to this area because I should show you all the new decor that I bought and then we can decorate. So yeah, see you soon. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I I have not finished editing, but I want to show you the stuff that I got. So I'm taking a little break. I do have a lot of decor from last year, which I can, I can show you some of that stuff, the exciting parts. For starters, ornaments, if you didn't know, you'll see probably in a minute, but I really like having silly ornaments on my tree, specifically animals. So I got this little mouse guy from Target. He's like a little mouse Santa. And then I also got this seal because I thought he was cute. Oh, by the way, I did paint my nails. Oh my gosh. Look at that duochrome. It looks green from here and then pink here also. Matches my outfit perfectly. This was from at home, I think. Oh no, this was from World Market. So I saw this really cute little deer, reindeer, and he's fuzzy and he's soft. And I just, I don't know. I like having animals around. Speaking of animals, I got more animals. <laughs> this was from at home and I actually got two of these. So we have this little landing on the top of our stairs. That's just like a blank space. And originally I was like, we should get a Christmas village and then it can be lit up there. Didn't realize how expensive those things are. So I thought for now, I'll just get a couple of these little reindeer. They're so cute and festive. So this is one. And then here's the other one. It's like different sizes. <laughs> and then I thought they should have a tree to just hang out with them. So I'm trying to decide. I got this tree from at home. It's like a little fake tree, but it's got little pine cones on it, which I thought was cute. Then I got this tree, which is a little bit lighter. It's got a cute little basket and it also has jingle bells on it. The reason that I got so many trees is because I figured we have so many rooms now and I would love just like a little mini tree in each room. And then we do have a mini light up tree. So I'm, I'm trying to decide between those things what I want, but I might want the light up tree in my room, but actually, this might be cute in my background. I don't know, I have to think about it. I did get a couple candles. I don't know where the other ones are, but this is the first one. This was from Bath and Body Works because they were having a sale. And this is crunchy English toffee, which is not a holiday scent, but it smells very good. So I got it. <laughs> These trees I bought in like October and I actually forgot that I bought them. So I got this little set of mini trees from Target. I did get some tinsel, I got green and silver because last year I felt like our tree was a little bit sparse. So I got these to kind of wrap around the fake tree to make them less sparse. So hopefully that works. I got this throw blanket from at home as well. That's got like little trees on it because we have this pillow that's like a very subtle Christmas tree pattern on it that I put out during the holidays. And I thought it'd be fun to have like a little matching blanket for it. So I got that. I don't know if this is supposed to go at the top of the tree, but I saw this little bird that you could clip onto your tree and I just thought he was really cute and I loved his tail. So I got him as I was reaching for this, I just dug my fingers into it. So I got this snow-capped Fraser candle that smells like a tree from at home as well. And it's incredible. And then I also saw these at Target, which is Skittle flavored candy canes because I really don't like mint flavor. So I thought that, that would be fun. I like getting us fun candy cane flavors every year. This is the one I got this time. These, uh, the reindeer are shedding a little bit and they kind of hurt. So that's all I got for this year, but I do still have a bunch of stuff from last year. I have a bunch of fun ornaments. I've got my little caterpillar ornament from last year that I loved. We've got the mini tree. We've got a couple stockings. I have a red one. Ryan has a green one. I do have a couple of snow globes. I got the Christmas frog. It says 2022 on it. And then I have this one that's white and it says Mary on it and it's got a little white tree. So that's cute. So yeah, I guess that's everything that I got. So I'm going to just start putting stuff in place. Places and then I'll show you what it looks like and then we can set up the tree. Wait, I just remembered I bought other stuff because I couldn't have my Christmas village. So I did buy these little bits from uh, at home and this one, this lights up. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little house. And I thought that could just be like my little mini, mini village. And there's also a giant tree, just some cute stuff.
the tree is still pretty sparse. I like this silver garland, but I did not realize that we needed more. So we're probably gonna have to pick up more. <laughs> Quick change of plans. Uh, we realized that we do not have any food and our friend Dan is coming over to stay here for the weekend. So we're gonna run to the store. We started putting ornaments on, but I don't think it's anything you can see yet because we started at the top. But yeah, I put on pants because I don't wanna go in like basically pajama shorts to the store. Also it's cold out, but I do have these little Christmas sloth socks that I'm going to wear to the store. So I'll be right back and then we can finish the tree. Hello, it has been many hours. I've changed because we are going to head to the strip soon for dinner, but I wanted to give you a little quick update. I did put up our tree and I put a bunch of ornaments on it. Ryan helped and then our friend Dan came over and he helped a little bit as well. And then we were kind of just hanging out for a bit. Now they are both getting ready. I think we're gonna actually go to the fashion show mall on the strip, which is what it sounds like. It's just a mall on the strip, but they have some cool stuff there and they have a, oh, I already forgot what it was called. <laughs> Oh, it's called the Fantasy Lab. They have a place called the Fantasy Lab that is apparently just a really cool interactive experience and they potentially have food there. So I think we're gonna go there. So I wanted to wear something slightly nicer. <laughs> so this is what I've got on for now. And then I'll bring you guys along for that adventure. And then Dan said he's fine being on camera. So I will introduce you guys to him as well. But yeah, he is staying here for the weekend. So we're probably gonna be doing a lot of Las Vegas slash strip shenanigans. Uh, so I'm very excited about it. But yeah, pleased with how the tree looks. We don't have enough tinsel, so we're gonna have to pick up some more. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll look good. It's just that it's a sparse tree. That's the problem. We got a really cheap tree and I feel like it kind of shows because you can see a lot of gaps through. Ryan and I were just talking about it today when we were putting it together that next year, I think we're going to finally invest in a better tree and just get like a higher quality one just because we are partial to the fake trees, but now that we have a house and we have ample storage for it, we can get like a good one to just last us forever, you know? But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna chill until they're ready to go and then we will head over to the strip. It feels so much later than it is. It got dark at like 4.30, so I'm like already <laughs> tired, but I feel like that's just been how it's been. It's just hard when it gets dark so early because it feels like it's hours later. Like it literally, if you told me it was 8 p.m. right now, I would believe you and it is only 6 p.m. So anyway, yeah, I will catch up with you in a bit. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold, and we don't know any way that you try to understand how it all started to go wrong. But the sea is way too Okay, this many hours later, we went to the strip. It's now, oh, my watch is on. Okay, it's almost midnight right now. So it's almost Vlogmas day two. <laughs> but we did go to the strip. We went to the fashion show mall and we went to a place called Fantasy Lab. And it was cool. I feel like it was a little bit overpriced for what the experience was, but it was definitely fun to see. And then we kind of just wandered around on the strip for a little bit. We tried to go into a couple of speakeasies, but everything was super crowded, which is fair because it was a Friday night. And we did go to Super Freako for a little bit, which is a place I've shown you guys before, but usually it's like a dinner and bar that has shows going on. They did not have one show the whole time we were there. So we were just kind of sitting at the bar for a while, but they didn't have anything, which was a little disappointing. Dan's sitting right here watching me do this. Hi friends. I know that I have the chocolate advent calendar that I did not open, but I feel like it's just a little bit too late to eat them right now, but we'll open up two tomorrow. So we'll see what the flavors are. I think there's only six flavors and the rest is just repeats. So we'll do that tomorrow, but thank you guys so much for joining me for day one of Vlogmas. Hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we're gonna get into some fun stuff as well. So I will see you then. Bye.